Okay, great. Well, you guys, thank you so much for tuning in tonight. My name is Ali Asnachi. Um, I'm an ambassador with It Works. Um, probably your upline, maybe your sideline. Um, sometimes these Zooms get passed along and along and along. So that is an okay thing. So I am joined tonight by Lindsay Bishop, who is also an ambassador diamond, and Lauren Kasmatis. Um, I believe she is jumping on as well. I'm going to unmute both of them so we can just kind of chime in um, on different things. Um, if I can unmute them, uh, we'll see. So um, first, I know so many of you are brand new to the business and a big thing I want to remind you of is that um, we are here for you. We are going to give you every tidbit of knowledge. You have an unbelievable amount of resources. You are added to team pages. YouTube is ridiculous. So many top leaders have so many YouTube channels. Um, Team pages are searchable. Um, you have leaders at your disposal. You have, we're always doing um, Zooms and different training calls. Um, so you have just unlimited amount of resources. But at the end of the day, it is build your own business. You can, we can give it all to you, but you have to be the one to take action. So a huge step in that is showing up. And you guys did that tonight. So congratulations. That's an amazing, amazing step to um, jump in and just start learning. You know, um, if you want to be on fire, you stay close to the fire. So when your top leaders are jumping online and giving tips, you definitely want to be plugged in. Um, and with that being said, you can be as plugged in as you want to be. I mean, you could be connected to stuff every single night. There are constantly um, different trainings. Often we do power hours, which what that is is where some people get together and we're just working on a Zoom like this. Maybe every 10 minutes we give a different task. And it's a great way, if you're just not really sure how to work your business, to learn, get some ideas. And you can be unbelievably effective in just an hour a day if you're doing the right tasks and you're being intentional with your time. So you can be as plugged in as you want to be. Um, I definitely want to make sure that you know you are working too, though. You want to be working your business about at least an hour a day. Um, don't think that just because you watched seven hours of YouTube videos that your business should be growing. You're probably learning a lot, but it comes down to action. Um, you were probably all added to a bunch of team pages. Hopefully not too many. Hopefully one or two team pages. Make sure you turn the notifications on for those team pages. Your leaders aren't just posting in there for the fun. Um, they're posting in there because they're trying to give you information. They are trying to get you connected to a Zoom. Maybe they are trying to share a story filled with inspiration. Um, so while sometimes those pages can be a lot, definitely keep your notifications on for those because you're going to want to go look and read, you know, a couple times a day just to see what's out there. Maybe there's something, a power hour, or a training, or something, a promotion, sales, things like that. Your leaders are always going to change. Um, so action creates results. So, but that's what I was saying um, when I said you need to be plugged in. Uh, this business is not going to build itself. Uh, Lauren is a great example. She always says the second she's feeling a little bit uh, or in a funk, you just immediately take action. Lauren, do you want to talk about a little bit? Just, I know I'm going to call you right out. I texted you on the agenda like four minutes ago. Um, but just about how even, even as you're getting started or as a tenured leader, when it comes down to it, action's going to breed your confidence. It's going to get you going. It changes your mindset. Just a few words about that maybe. Definitely. So when I got started in this business, I was an elementary school teacher and you know, worked full time. Most of you do, uh, most of us did when we got started. And so it wasn't until I was out earning my teaching salary that I decided to stay home with this business. But something that I always made sure to do, and I just heard them actually say it on a corporate call, was to put a little bit of time in for this business. And sometimes I'll be honest, it was not every single day, but like Allie said, if I could fit in an hour, that would be my goal. And sometimes that hour was split into little parts. So it was maybe 15 minutes before work, or it was um, 15 or 20 minutes at my lunch break. And a, a lot of the time it was 15 minutes before I started driving the car to pick my kids up and 
all the time, it was after bedtime. That's kind of when I would hustle and put in my, my time. I would check the, those team pages. I would see if there was a great training and I would make sure that I would do some of these non-negotiables that are like, you know, someone just said, it's like breathing, it's like showering. You wouldn't just skip your shower or skip brushing your teeth. This becomes part of your day and it's very simple things. You don't have to sit down and work this business in huge hour long chunks. It is meant to fit in the little gaps of your day, but it is important that you do it, just like brushing your teeth, right? So um, I'm not sure, Ali, do you wanna go into some of those non-negotiables, but this is the beautiful thing of this business, guys, is that you get to make of it what you want. And so if you're gonna work it like, you know, a hobby, it's gonna pay you some really great hobby money. You're gonna get more out of it the more that you put into it, but also just be aware that we're all at different places. So some people are able to give this four hours, some people are able to give it 30 minutes a day, and some days you just didn't get to it. And just make sure that you keep your list of tasks going, and if you didn't get to it today, you can get to it tomorrow. What I've found over time, even being in this business for five years, is that if I go, two days, three days, five days, two weeks without doing anything for my business, I start to check out. It becomes harder for me to think of something to post or to think of something to message someone. So staying in that routine always makes it easier and gives you more confidence, just like Allie said. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it does take time. You know, learning takes time. If you started a new job, they'd say, okay, great. For the first 90 days, you're on probation. As you learn, um, you know, we're here. Here's your resources to ask questions. They're partnering up with a mentor, right? So there is absolutely no reason that you think you need to think that you started this business and you should know everything tomorrow. I am, I am five and a half years into this business and I am evolving and learning every single day. I mean, learning new ways to use social media, um, new tips to go do vendor events out in the community, um, new messages, you know, for uh, somebody to say, oh gosh, this message has really been working great for me to seal the deal with the customer every single day. And you're going to slowly learn over time. It is not an overnight business. But what is amazing is that you can make big money right away and it can keep growing, but that's going to take you diving in. So Lauren, let's get into some of those daily tasks. Lindsay, I'm going to call on you too. I can't unmute you for some reason, Lindsay. Oh, there you Sorry. are. Yeah. Um, you had it like locked. So um, I'm thinking that let's each of us just share like two or three of our just absolutely non-negotiable tasks every single day that we do day in, day out, even if we only have 15 minutes, um, every single day to grow our business. Lindsay, you want to go first? Yeah, before um, I give that, I just want to add to, you know, the whole learning thing. If you're brand new, the best way to learn is to do. And you may not like really understand why you're doing things that we tell you to do, but I promise you, like for me, I've been, Ali too and Lauren, we've all been doing this business for almost five years. So we've kind of figured out what works. So what we are telling you to do is stuff that we do and what works, even though it may not feel comfortable to begin with. So um, my daily non-negotiables are, um, you know, I get up an hour before uh, my son and I come up with my posts for the day. I will check back up on like messages and notifications from the night before. Um, I do like my story in the morning, like when I post to Instagram, I also post to my Instagram story, which is automatically posted to my Facebook story. Um, I feel like, you know, I'm not a morning person at all. So me getting up an extra hour early is a really, really big deal. I'm talking like really big deal. <laughs> I mean, even 6am, the thing, the crazy thing is, is when I work full time, I was out the door at 6 a.m. and you did not want to talk to me that early. But having that hour to kind of gather my thoughts and um, kind of like piddle around in my time has been huge for me because otherwise I'm just like literally getting up just in time to shower to get my son ready to be out the door. And when you live like, like that, it's hard for you to fit in that you know that first part of your day and then before you know it it's lunchtime and you haven't done anything so um coming up with posts ahead of time is a daily non-negotiable doing my story um and then every day from about two thirty-three to 5 o'clock I sit in this very chair right here 
and I will literally message new people to ask them to host a post for me. And sometimes I message 50 people, sometimes I message 10, however many it takes for me to get a couple of posts going or posted really. And I think, I think Allie's going to touch on host to post in a little bit on what that is. But that's how I've signed like all of my customers since June. I've probably signed more customers in the last six months than I have in the past five years doing host to post. So take that's note of amazing. that. It works. Yeah. And she learned four and a half years in her business. She changed something she was doing and now she's one of the top enrollers on our team. Yeah. So that's amazing. All right, Lauren, you want to share a couple non-negotiables? Definitely. So my first one is it's non-negotiable that I'm using my products. So make sure that, you know, if you're brand new, you probably don't have anything in your hands yet. Maybe you, um, the company sent you some wraps. Maybe you have a couple of samples of keto coffee or the keto energy. What you're going to want to do is order some products or you're going to want to hustle to get some customers so you can get your free products as soon as possible. You want to use these products because what, you, what happens when you show yourself making the keto coffee, when you show yourself um, taking the cleanse, people trust you. They're like, oh, okay, she's using this product because I'm going to be honest. Yes, they will still purchase from you before you've tried it. Believe me, I had not tried every product when I was sharing them. So I don't want you to think, oh, I can't sell it if I haven't tried it all. I have to try it first. That's not what I'm saying. What I am saying is fine find something that you really want to try and you're going to get some great results from that product. I jumped right in and was doing hair, skin, nails. Um, right now I'm obsessed with the keto coffee. I'm making sure that I'm drinking my collagen and using my skincare. We've got so many great products. So that's a non-negotiable for me and it makes it easy for what um, Lindsay said. It's easy that you can post about these products because you're actually using them. You can show how you use them, explain what the product is and what it does. So that's definitely a non-negotiable for me, using the products. I, um, If you're just getting started, another great thing, you're like, okay, I'm supposed to message. You know, I message people each day. Who do I message? Well, the people that are seeing my stories and are liking my posts, I'm going to send those people messages. I'm brand new, I might message, I call it my chicken noodle soup list. Who are those people that would bring you chicken noodle soup if you were sick? You're going to say, hey, mom, hey, grandma, you know, hey, best friend. I'm looking for some people to try out some amazing products, and I was wondering if you could give me some support. What do you think? And they're going to say, well, sure, what kind of products? And then I'm going to send them a message that says, oh, I'm looking for somebody that would try, you know, coffee, our weight loss coffee, or maybe somebody who wants to grow out their hair. Give them a few choices, and then Let's get them enrolled as a loyal customer. So that's one way you can send messages. Another way you can send messages is people who are viewing your stories or liking your, your posts. It's very simple. You just say, hey, I saw that you viewed my story. Are you interested in the keto coffee? Or thank you so much for your support. I love that you liked you know, my post about keto coffee. Are you interested? It's just so easy to just send a message to somebody. But of course, you know, I guess another like non-negotiable is that you're adding to your network each day and that you're interacting with those people. It's not always going to be about it works. I remember when I first started, I made sure that I looked each day and said, happy birthday to all the people whose birthday it was. You know, I made sure to add some, you know, friends that maybe I hadn't talked to in a while or some acquaintances of my husband's not to send them a message, just so they could see my post, so I could see their post, so I could start interacting with them. You're gonna see that this business, of course, we're gonna make commission by sharing products, but it's not about just messaging people and trying to make sales. We're building relationships because you never know who's gonna need these products and who's gonna need some extra money. So it's amazing that we have something to offer both of those situations, people are wanting to look better and feel better and people are really wanting to make changes in their lives. So I'm just trying to connect with as many people as I can every single day. You know, it's not about how many customers I'm signing each day, how many distributors, it's making those constant connections. So making sure that you're adding friends and followers on Facebook and Instagram, if you're going to do this in social media, and if you want to do it face to face, then that you're talking to people in the grocery store, right? Instead of being on your phone when you're checking out at the grocery or at the post office, that you're talking to these people, that maybe you're giving them your blitz card or, you know, a business card. Maybe you're just asking and engaging in conversation and adding these people on Facebook. There's so many different ways, but if you start thinking about your day as adding connections, you're going to go very far. Absolutely. And that was my number one non-negotiable. I was going to say is grow your network every single day. 
Um, the more people you talk to, the more you take the products, the more your confidence is going to grow. And it's just cyclical. When you're feeling confident, you're going to send more messages. If you're feeling like you're not really confident, the more people you talk to, the more confidence will grow. So grow that network every day. Friends of friends, um, groups on Facebook, common interest groups, you know, people who you're commenting back and forth with all the time, send them a message to chat about something that that group is talking about and add them as a friend. Following new people on Instagram and absolutely, you know, the target cashier, the server at your favorite restaurant, um, the other mom at the park, whatever that is, chat with those people, be excited, add them as a Facebook friend. It's not about meeting someone and asking them to be your customer that way. Growing your network is what is so important because then you're gonna be posting on social media. That is how in this day and age, a brand is built and you are your own brand. You're an entrepreneur and you have something amazing to offer because every single person wants to look better, feel better, or make more money. Think about any conversation you have. Usually within the first five minutes, somebody tells you one of those things. Uh, they're going to you know, let you into a little window in their life of something that they would like to improve and you hopefully have a solution to that. So by sharing those solutions, sharing how you're using the product, sharing how this business is changing your life, or if you're brand new, sharing about how this business is going to change your life, the potential you see with it. Don't be afraid to be bold. When I started this business, I had the attitude of, I'm going to go make a million dollars. Like you come in with me or not. I hadn't made a dime at that point, and I literally put that phrase on Facebook. And then, less than three years later, I had made a million dollars. Like, that's how crazy it was. I had just decided it was happening. And people told me I was crazy. Cool, move on. Who, anybody who didn't think I was crazy, they were coming with me. And they did, and it was great. So, um, you gotta be growing that network every day. You gotta be posting every single day on social media. At a restaurant, you don't know that that restaurant down the street is on unless open it unless their lights are on, right? You got to turn your lights on every single day. And unfortunately, in this day and age, that doesn't mean your front porch light on. That means you're on social media and you need to post about your kids, your life, your job, your dog, your workout, and your business. You know, whatever that is for you. Everybody's at different stages in our life, but you got to have that light on or no one's going to walk in the front door. Okay. Um, and then last, the big non-negotiable I want to talk about is keeping your head right. Life of an entrepreneur is there's ups and downs. You're going to have to, you're going to get told no. And if your head is in a negative space and someone says, are you joking me? That stuff's so stupid. It doesn't work. You're gonna be like, Oh, it doesn't. I quit. Like, but if you're in a good mindset and you're using the products, and you know, you're getting results. And you're like, you, you see the vision of this company because you're staying plugged in and then you keep your head right. You're like, okay, cool. See you later. Thanks for responding. Like no sweat off your back, right? Let it roll off your back. And the way to do that is either audio book, physical book, podcast, motivational videos, and even just 15 minutes a day. I do a lot of Bluetooth. I have a Bluetooth speaker in my shower and I sync my phone to my Bluetooth in my car. That is where I can get almost an hour of a book done a day by always having a book on in those places. I just use Audible. It's an audio book service through Amazon. It's the best. So, or a podcast. Um, but you want to make sure, you know, if you're pouring your heart and soul into your job, your family, your business, you know, your, your health, you got to be filling yourself up too. So make sure that you are at least 15 minutes a day journal read, podcast, whatever it is, to make sure you're putting all that good inspiration, motivation um, right into your head. Because this head right here is the one thing that's going to hold you back from being successful in this business. Um, let's see. We want to touch on a few more things. We got about, we're going to go about nine more minutes. Um, let's talk about what is a loyal customer. Because everybody's first goal is getting five to 10 loyal customers as fast as you possibly can. Um, what is a loyal customer? Lindsay, what is your definition? Sorry. <laughs> I feel like I got you off guard. Like how, so, would you, how do um, you describe when, when someone says, oh, I really want to try that coffee. How do I get that discount? Yeah. So I literally have my text replacement set up. And so I type one word and boom, it pops up. So it says something like how it works is you get to try at least one product for three months in a row at 40% off, which is my discount. 
and you have the flexibility to change the product each month if you want to try something different. So basically, they are placing their initial order, which can be any product, and then the system will automatically set them up for the same product the same day the next month. So if they order today, their next order is going to be, let's say somebody orders cleanse today, their next order is going to be set up on January 17th for the cleanse as well, unless they go in and either change the product or change the date between the 1st and the 25th. So um, one thing, though, that I would recommend is when you're explaining this to people that you don't really use auto ship um, right off the bat because that freaks people out. You just let them know that they're ordering for three months. They can change, they can get any product. They're going to get the discount right away. Uh, and then let them ask questions from there. You don't want to like word vomit and give them every single thing you know about the loyal customer program right off the bat because that can be a lot of information, which is overwhelming. And if there's too much information for them to read, they're, they're a confused mind says no. So we don't want to confuse them with too much right off the bat. So anyway, at least one product, three consecutive months. After the third month, they can continue ordering, getting perk points, and then get like 50 more at month six. Or they can turn their auto ship off and still order whenever they want and always get the discounted price. So like I have people who became customers with me in 2014 who maybe haven't ordered in a while and then we get a new product and they come over and contact me again saying, Hey, I want to order this new product and I help them log back into their account, which is connected to me. And then they place an order. So we kind of, you kind of have like lifetime customers because their account is with you rather than like, you know, I don't exactly know how other companies work, but like makeup, I've, I've bought mascara from like, <laughs> this is really embarrassing, like from a lot of different people. I don't have like one single person that I order from. It's just whoever has it on hand, which is a great upside to our business is that we don't have to keep inventory like that. So anyway, loyal customer for you. Awesome. Yeah. I'd say often like it's like a Costco membership, but the membership fee is waived as long as you make three consecutive months, you know, just keep it really, really simple. Lindsay, that's so true. A confused mind absolutely, absolutely says no. Um, Lauren, do you have anything you want to chime in on on loyal customers? I just let everyone know that it's such a great deal and that 99% of people are going to order this way because they get the 40% discount. So, I mean, it's really just not, it's not a question. If you're nervous about it and you're scared to tell someone about it because you don't think it's a good deal, then they're not going to think it's a good deal. This is an incredible program. They're going to earn perk points along the way, which are free product dollars. I don't go into all this for them, but I want you guys to all know, you know, that they are going to be customers for life earning perk points, which are free products. They're going to get communications about all of our sales and new products. We take care of our customers and your job is when you sign up loyal customers that you take care of them too. You help them, you give them customer service because you want to keep them ordering as long as you can, because of course that's going to be commissioned for you, but they, we want them loving the products and getting the results that they want. So I just think that's such an amazing program. It's three months because you're going to get best results when you use these products over over time. We don't want people just ordering for one month and quitting. Think about it. I'll be very honest. I've ordered from some companies where it's just a one-time order and I didn't continue ordering and I didn't really continue using it. And I know that I would have gotten great results if I kept using it over time. And so we want people, especially because it's their health, we want them using these products and getting the results they want. So I just absolutely love our loyal customer program and, um, just make sure that I let everybody know it's very simple. You just order one product three months in a row. You can change it around if you'd like. Most people want to keep it the same because they get great results. Yeah. Awesome. And it's a people life always say to me, I just got this question today, which is maybe they say, well, what happens after the three months? People always say that, like, does the price go up? And it's like, no girl, like you're a loyal customer for life. You're going to get 40% off forever. So after those three months, you can turn your shipments on and off as you please. You have full control over your account. I always tell them that because people think that they're just going to be stuck ordering this forever. No, if they don't want to order anymore, they turn off their shipments. If they, they can turn it on and off whenever they want. If they have a cruise coming up in the future, and they want some wraps, great. And they can turn it back off if they want. They are in control. 
Yeah, absolutely. It's such a no-brainer, amazing customer loyalty program. So we got a couple minutes left. Your first goal is to get um, you know, five loyal customers minimum. Um, just reach out. You guys, we have over 50 products. Ask you, well, hey, I'm brand new on my business. I'm really looking for people to try some products for 90 days. And now you're going to feel comfortable explaining what it is. Um, day, you need to be doing your training academy. Head into your e-suite. That's your back office. Go to Training Academy at the top, click through it. It's just a series of videos um, with some documents. It's going to give you just a really nice little foundation for some steps to be doing, so, uh, kind of a new distributor checklist. It's going to walk you through making a hundreds list, which is a um, hundred names of people you know, just kind of as a memory jogger. Um, it's going to talk about launching your business, getting to events, where you can find those things like that. Um, and then last thing I'm going to talk about is what Lindsay mentioned, which is host a post. So host, you know, it network marketing used to be a party only business, right? And we can absolutely party highly, highly can um, encourage you guys to get people over to your house, sampling products, get out to someone else's house, get to vendor events, get out there in the community. My gosh, this business face to face and belly to belly is so, so important. But the whole reason that's amazing is because we tap into other people's networks, right? So that's what host to post is, but online. So instead of you posting about the products, you are going to ask your friend, your family work member, your old, you know, teacher from high school, whoever, um, to put up a post for you and they're going to tag you in it. And it's going to say, you know, looking for, um, 10 people to try some weight loss products. You know, my friend Allie is looking for them, whatever. And then their friends are going to comment on it. And let's say someone has 10 friends comment. Well, now that's 10 new people that were not formerly in your network that you can add as friends and you can message. So every single team page has a whole file on host to post. Um, it'll be under either say host to post or HAP, H-A-P, and um, there are scripts and there's the whole explanation and there's videos on how to do it. So here we are, 8.58, we made it you guys. <laughs> we did our 30 minute training. Uh, but we just wanna say you guys absolutely, the time is now, my gosh, the momentum this team has is crazy. Um, we are growing like just, I can't even believe it for December, what's happening on our team right now. And we haven't even gotten into health and wellness season, you know, New Year's resolution time. This business is yours for the taking in January. What you put Now's in the time to grind that. because- Oh my gosh. Yes. I may not like, see like immediate results, but I can promise you- January and February are going to blow your mind. Yeah. And if you are you messaging everybody you're following up with, everyone you're building your business with, networking, um, when you post every single day, when someone's like on January 5th, man, okay, I got to figure out my plan to lose this weight. They're going to be like, who was that girl talking about that skinny coffee? Oh, or I got a message, Lauren. All my credit cards after buying gifts. Yeah, exactly. They're have an oh crap moment. <laughs> now I got bills. Yeah. So be loud, be bold, be positive and share what you guys got your hands on because it's something really, really amazing. So thank you guys so much for tuning in tonight. Um, and I will put this on YouTube and share the recording just as soon as it uploads. All right. Thanks guys. Bye.